Safety time for travelers, and that includes members of the U.S. military. At their every stop of the journey, the USO is there to greet them. Fox 10's Corey Pippin spoke to several service members today at Pensacola's International Airport. Many folks await their loved ones as they get off flights here at Pensacola International Airport. But the USO has been welcoming troops 24-7, flying in and out either on leave or deployment. Over 2,500 military men and women have passed through this room in the last month. Second class petty officer Burke Tarleton is a swim instructor at NAS Pensacola. It's his and his wife Kelly's first Christmas with their six-month-old daughter, Riley. It's a time for us to be uh, relieve some stress and just relax. I don't have to worry about anything. Uh, I don't have to do anything when I'm at my mom's house, so which is nice. Uh, it was definitely a blessing. We um, there's not too many wives that can do that. So just being with him and opening up presents with him, being able to lay on the couch with him and watch movies with both of them is, is definitely a miracle in itself. Volunteers stay around the clock helping the troops with whatever they need. Private Timothy Moore came to NAS Pensacola to serve in the Marine Corps. He says he recently found out that he and his fiance may be expecting. I might be a father and it's really compelling and motivating but also at the same time I won't be there for the kid. He says this is the first time he's been away from family for the holidays. Everything that I grew up with is all away from me now. It's, I'm out of, I feel strange, out of my place, but I know it's the right thing to do. Something many troops continue to do these holidays, serving our country. In Pensacola, Corey Pippen, Fox 10 News. USO received food and items donated for the troops from across the region this holiday season.